Hello everyone, you are welcome to how to solve this very nice quadratic equation x to the power 4 plus 8x cubed plus 13x squared minus 7 is equal to 0. Our job is to find all possible values of x. So let's start. If we divide this constant 7 by the coefficient of this x to the power 4 1, 7 divided by 1 is equal to 7 and factors of this 7 are plus minus 1 and plus minus 7. If we check plus minus 1 in this equation, plus minus 1 is not a solution. And if we check this plus minus 7, plus minus 7 is not a solution. So, let us use another trick. We suppose that this expression at the left hand side is a product of two quadratic factors, let us say x squared plus a times x plus b times x squared plus c times x plus d is equal to 0. If we expand this expression, this will become x to the power 4 plus a plus c times x cubed plus a times c plus b plus d times x squared plus a times d plus b times c times x plus b times d is equal to 0. Now we compare the coefficients of this expression and this expression. In this expression, we have a coefficient of x cubed a plus c and in this expression, we have coefficient of x cubed a. So, from here we get an equation a plus c is equal to 8 and coefficient of x squared is ac plus b plus d and here coefficient of x squared is 13. So, from here we get another equation a times c plus b plus d is equal to 13 and the coefficient of x is ad plus bc. Here we have uh, no term with uh, x, it means uh, here we have uh, 0 times x. So we compare this uh, ad plus bc with this 0. We get another equation a times b plus uh, b times c is equal to 0. And we compare this uh, constant b times d with this constant negative 7, we get another equation b times t is equal to negative 7. For this equation b times t is equal to negative 7, we have two cases. In the first case, we have uh, b times t is equal to 1 times negative 7 and uh, in the second case, we have uh, b times t is equal to negative 1 times 7. This is case 1 and this is case 2. First we solve this case 1. From this case 1 we have b is equal to 1 and d is equal to negative 7. And from this equation if we move this a to the right hand side this implies that c is equal to 8 minus a. Now, in this equation a times d plus b times c is equal to 0, we put these values of b, d and c. So, we copy this equation here a times d plus b times c is equal to 0. Since we have a times d, so this will become negative 7 times a, negative 7 times a plus b is 1. So, 1 times c means that 1 times this expression 8 minus a will become 8 minus a is equal to 0 and this negative 7a minus a will become negative 8a is equal to this positive 8 will become negative 8 at right hand side and if we divide both sides by negative 8 this implies that a is equal to 1. And by using this equation, we can find the value of c. c 
सी इज इक्वल टू एट माइनस वन एंड सी इज इक्वल टू सेवन सो फ्रॉम दिस केस वी गेट वैल्यू ऑफ ए वन वैल्यू ऑफ बी वन वैल्यू ऑफ सी सेवन वैल्यू ऑफ डी नेगेटिव सेवन now we check these values of a b c and d in this equation a c plus b plus d is equal to 13 we copy this equation here a times c plus b plus d is equal to 13 since a is 1 and c is 7 so this a times c will become 1 times 7 plus b is 1 plus d is negative 7 d is negative 7 is this equal to 13 and 1 times 7 will become 7 plus 1 plus minus will become minus 7 is this equal to 13 and this 7 will be cancelled out with this positive 7 we are left with the 1 One is uh, not equal to thirteen. It means that uh, no solution can be found from this case. Now we solve this uh, second case. Uh, from this case, uh, we have b is equal to negative one and uh, d is equal to seven. And we use this equation: a d plus b c is equal to zero. A times d plus uh, b times c is equal to 0 since uh, d is 7 so this ad will become 7 times a b is uh, negative 1 so this will become negative 1 times c is this 8 minus a c is 8 minus a is equal to 0 we further simplify this will become 7 times a Negative one times eight, negative eight, and negative one times negative a, positive a, is equal to zero. Move this negative a to the right hand side, and this seven a plus a will become eight a is equal to eight. From here we get the value of a one. And using this equation, we can find the value of c. C is equal to eight minus one. And c is equal to seven. From this case, uh, we get a value of a one, value of b negative one, and value of c seven, and value of d seven. We check these values in this equation. Since a is one and c is seven, so this a times c will become one times Seven plus uh, b is negative one, so here we write negative one plus uh, d is seven. Is this equal to thirteen? And one times seven will become seven plus minus minus one plus uh, this uh, seven. Is this equal to thirteen? And uh, seven plus seven fourteen minus one is thirteen. Uh, is equal to Thirteen. This is true. It means that this case has solutions. So we copy these values of a, b, c, and d here. We have a is equal to one. B is equal to negative one, and C is equal to seven, and D is equal to seven. We recall that uh, we have supposed we have supposed that uh, this uh, quadratic factor is a product of uh, two quadratic factors, uh, x squared plus a x plus b times x squared plus uh, c x plus uh, d. We have supposed that uh, this uh, quadratic expression x to the power four plus eight uh, x cubed plus thirteen uh, x squared minus seven 
is equal to product of two quadratic factors x squared plus a times x plus b times x squared plus c times x plus d is equal to 0. So by using these values of a, b, c and d we can find the quadratic factors. The first factor will become x squared since a is 1 so this will become plus x and b is negative 1 so this will become negative 1 times the second factor will become x squared c is 7 so this will become 7 times x plus d is 7 so here we write the constant 7 is equal to 0 from here either this expression x squared plus x minus 1 is equal to 0 or this expression x squared plus 7 times x plus 7 is equal to 0. First we solve this quadratic equation. This is not factorable so we solve it by quadratic formula. According to quadratic formula x is equal to negative b is 1 plus minus square root of b squared will become 1 squared minus 4 times a is 1 times c is negative 1 divided by 2 times a is 1. Next x is equal to negative 1 plus minus the square root of this 1 squared is 1 and negative 4 times 1 times negative 1 plus 4. 1 plus 4 will become 5 divided by 2 times 1 2. So from this quadratic equation we get uh, two solutions for x, uh, x1 and 2, negative 1 plus minus uh, root 5 over 2. Now we solve this uh, quadratic equation. From this equation x is equal to negative b is 7 plus minus uh, square root of b squared will become 7 squared minus 4 times uh, a is 1 times uh, c is 7 divided by 2 times a is 1 and x will be equal to negative 7 plus minus square root of this 7 squared will become 49 and negative 4 times 1 times 7 negative 28. 49 minus 28 will become 21 divided by 2 times 1 2. From this quadratic equation we get other two solutions for x, x3 and x4 negative 7 plus minus root 21 over 2. So for this uh, quadratic equation we have four solutions uh, negative 1 plus minus uh, root 5 over 2 and negative 7 plus minus uh, root 21 over 2.